Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a little later out now, um, and here I'm gonna show you what I've done recently. Did a couple things, uh, two main things really. I ended up uh, blacking out the uh, taillights, and also I installed um, a short shifter with also the bushings. All right, so now we're back here in the rear of the car, and as you can tell by the taillights, obviously they're still OEM. Um, but what I ended up doing was blacking out the housing. So, I mean, the procedure of doing that, um, I didn't really obviously take any footage of that, but I'm going to post some photos here um, of the process of how I went with uh, doing it and all. I mean, obviously, you're going to remove the taillights itself. And behind all that, um, you're actually going to have to cut open the taillights. So it's a little bit different procedure when it comes to doing headlights, which I've done in the past. Um, you know, with headlights, you can bake them and, you know, remove all the screws and obviously they'll pop off the, the back of the housing. But now with the taillights, you know, they're all molded. So you really can't uh, bake them and remove them just like that. So you'll actually have to cut open along the back on the edge um, of the housing itself. There are a few screws in the back and then you'll be able to pop off the cover. Um, so along with that, we'll kind of go take a look here i mean you can kind of tell by the look of the uh taillights they are a little bit darker so um how would you say it kind of like a cherry red i was actually inspired by another youtuber on these uh taillights um as far as the look goes so basically behind this uh the taillight itself uh there's about two pieces that you really would be blacking out so along this right here is a piece that you would black out and then if you go more towards the rear the section right here is where you would black out so basically i uh, you know once you get that all removed i i blacked those out with gloss black um these reflectors i did leave they're just clear those two there along the along with the reflectors on the c light here and down here so those are all left alone and then obviously this is just clear i believe so that kind of gives it um a look of like visible lines there which is pretty cool in my opinion um before this my taillights it looks like uh, the previous owner had like a little overlay tint overlay over that so i mean it didn't look too bad but with this look it, it kind of gives, just gives it that uh tinted look to the taillights I would say this is just the best way to actually do it if you just want that tinted look is to pretty much black out those housings. Yeah, even though it's a little bit of a process and it can be a little bit nerve wracking, um, this is just the way to go. And I mean, I think uh, the next step I would probably do is um, maybe the tail, what is it, tail as turn uh, module. Uh, I think Diode, Diode Dynamics sells that. So I'll probably end up doing that because right now, Everything's just obviously stock, so everything is still working um, properly. So um, with the tail as turn module, I mean, your tail light that just shines would obviously be working as a turn signal itself also. And then the reverse would still work, but this would also be off. But then um, with that module, you can tap into that uh, light uh, or that turn signal light that way you can, these would both work as a reverse uh, light. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Just something to do, kind of um, upgrade the taillights itself. And in my opinion, I think um, I do like the OEM lights. All the other aftermarket lights, in my opinion, I just feel like are a little bit tacky. I don't really like all the LED, you know, squares or strips that are kind of showing there. Um, some are pretty nice or good looking, to be honest. But I think... Um, for more for more a uh, cost effective way is just kind of blacking out the housing i mean it's it's simple um yeah it does take time but i mean you are saving yourself some uh money there all right and the next uh, mod i ended up doing was a short throw shifter kit so my previous sti i had installed the carboy short throw shifter kit you know pretty common uh short throw uh, shifter kit out there um along with the bushings itself so with this one, I ended up uh, finding Torque Solutions. So with Torque Solutions, um, similar kit, to be honest. It came with the short throw shifter itself, the rear bushing, front bushing. So 
um, pretty much everything was the same. I mean, even the specs, I think it was one inch shorter um, as far as the uh, height of the uh, the shifter. And then it did, it did come with the rear bushings and also the front bushings, which I think are probably the same uh, material or grade of the uh, polyurethane or whatever that they use. Um, I could be wrong because I, I feel like the front bushings were a little bit softer. But um, other than that, I mean, it seemed pretty similar as far as specs goes. But also, like I said, or if I had said, the price is a little bit less than what you would pay for. So I'm just going to show you what I had. Uh, well, obviously, there's all the OEM uh, shifter stuff here. But this is obviously the front bushing. You know, it's it's rubber. Um, other than that, I mean, not much to it. It is already, I want to say it's really beat up. Maybe a little bit, but for the mileage of my STI, I feel like I don't have that much, you know, but... Yeah, I feel like they're kind of ready to beat up. And then look at look at the uh, the rear bushing. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of really like getting brittle. Yeah, and once again, it is rubber. So the newer stuff is obviously a different material. And this itself is the OEM shifter. So the one you get that comes in the kit, obviously really similar. Maybe, like I said, one inch shorter. And I think the way they had uh, welded the shifter itself is um a little bit different to kind of obviously compensate for the short throws there so um and then obviously i think the bushings are also the polyurethane so other than that i mean there ain't really much to it um you know once you get everything removed and then you transfer all the other stuff onto the new shifter um as far as that goes and then you know you'll get under the car and do all the bushings since that's where those are located at. We can go ahead and actually see inside or check out how it actually feels or sorry, uh, how it looks and all that um, and kind of show you a little demonstration of uh, the shifts. So we're inside the car currently and um, to show you a little demonstration here. I mean, you can kind of, I feel like, so this is neutral already and going from first, like, First, the neutral is like really small, and then you know, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, got the reverse. Um, but other than that, I mean, it really is. If I'm just barely like shaking it, I feel like, yeah, there's not much play, so uh, it definitely does make a difference when it comes to uh, installing a short throw shifter kit. Uh, for anybody that you know doesn't like that play in their uh, shifter and all that um the throws maybe not something you guys might like but i think for me i mean i like how it feels they're not too too short you know um what do they claim at least like uh is it like 30 percent reduction or something like that um i don't know what the specs are but once again really similar to the carboy uh short throw shifter kit if I had to compare, um, it feels the same, to be honest. So really notchy. Um, so let's say oh, right now I'm in third. I'm kind of feeling for it. It's really not much at all. I mean, it's you still have a little play, but honestly, compared to OEM, um, I noticed the difference. So I uh, definitely recommend a short throw shifter kit for anybody out there just to kind of remove that uh, slop or wiggle there and... The bushings also help too, because when I, when I did this, I installed the actual shifter itself, and I mean, shifting it, yeah, I felt that they were short, a little bit notchy, but then installing the bushings underneath the car, um, I think it definitely stiffened it up a little bit. So, really nice feel, and uh, to be honest, I think, I think I would recommend it for sure. Like I said once again, so um, that's pretty much that for the shifter. So as I discussed, those are the two main things I had uh, pretty much done there. And um, it's getting kind of close to that uh, time of the year. You know, it's winter time and living here in the Midwest, it's starting to kind of get cold out. But so won't really be much after that as far as uh, what I'll be doing with the car. I, I mean, I usually store it and um, keep it pretty much charged. As you can kind of see, I have a battery tender hooked up and that's something I'll I'll usually do in the winter and keep it clean and then um obviously I have a cover 
that I'll also throw on um, just to kind of keep off any dust and all that. Um, obviously, after the car is detailed. But other than that, um, I don't really have much plans as far as the car goes right now. I mean, like I said in previous videos, I have pretty much plan on just doing uh, cosmetics for now and then possibly power mods later. Um, but for now, yeah, just kind of keeping up with, you know, the reliability of things, uh, maintenance and all that. So um, as far as interior goes, though, the thing that I've been wanting to do, I mean, yeah, the obviously I did the short throw shifter kit. And the next thing, I mean, just to kind of fill in a little bit with the car, I, I definitely want uh, Alcantara steering wheel, like full Alcantara. Uh, my previous SDI, yeah, I had the a combo of the leather and... Um, Alcantara, so that kind of gave it that OEM look since the car had both of those materials in there. But for this one, I just want to actually just go full Alcantara, um, possibly with the red uh, racing stripe, you know, in the middle. But um, yeah, that that probably be my next plan, and I feel like um, the interior would be pretty set, you know, as far as like you know just driving, because when you're in the car, you know, you want to be able to enjoy, you know, driving the car itself inside and just having those uh amenities or whatever you call it so it'll be kind of just makes it kind of fun to drive you know when you have those things i guess one last thing i would really want to do and probably next year or spring or whatever you know after the winter is uh probably actually get a decent set of coilovers uh for this car um currently the car has the teen lowering springs that were installed by the previous owner and i mean um the height is uh i mean it's it's pretty good where it sits to be honest i, I do like where it sits i'm not gonna lie let's go a little bit over here just kind of take a look um i mean the wheel gap there's a little bit but i mean to be honest i think it would be it could be a little bit lower in my opinion i, I think i like i just like that fitment where like the wheel or the fender yes yeah, almost touching the wheel or the tires there but um but I think not only that, but if I do get a set of coilovers, I'll have obviously front camber adjustment so I can kind of get a little bit of camber there. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, I think uh, that'd probably be one of the next things I'd like to do for the car. And uh, my next or my the set of coilovers I would go with are the Fortunatos. So something I'll look into and do some research as far as that goes um because right now how it sits is good i don't i don't scrape or rub or anything like that um but if i do lower it a little bit um because what i'm thinking is at least an inch in the front more from where it's at so i'll try to match that out once i do do that and then the rears i feel like the rears do sit a little bit lower than the front here currently um so i, I kind of just want to give it that front rake look where like the front is a little bit lower in the rear so nothing too drastic but but yeah that's my plan at least an inch lower and maybe the rears might have to be a half inch lower or whatever or maybe it'll be an inch in the rears lower and then one and a half or whatever around there so but other than that um yeah that's pretty much it there but along with that uh yeah also that like i said with the tail lights i'll probably do the tail as turn module kit thing there and go from there but um for now um that's pretty much it i mean that wraps up the video go ahead subscribe comment like um let me know what you guys think i mean any suggestions or um i'm open to anything um so feel free to comment below and um, i'll see you guys in the next video